So millions of people around the world have seen from space the images of the Aral Sea and how it's disappeared. And many more have travelled to Moynak, to Nukus, particularly to Moynak, and seen the rusting ships where the sea used to be. But very few people come and actually see what's left of the Aral Sea, which is what's behind them. And it's astonishing to come here and remember that this is actually a real living sea uh, that still exists, even though it's still retreating, it still exists, and there's still a, a marginal ecosystem hanging on here by its fingertips. So behind me, I don't know if you can see, there's a small flock of plover. In the distance, we can see flamingo and gulls. We have um, Artemia lining the shores. There's still life living here, somehow clinging on, even though the sea has almost disappeared completely. So it's important to remember that the Aral Sea is not just the site of a catastrophe and a lost sea, there is also a living sea here that we still need to try and safeguard.